Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stellaris with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to the infestation now at peace with our neighbours, at least for the very, very near future. In the not-so-distant future, however, we will be devouring them in revenge for what they have done to our poor territory over here. Seriously, how horrible does this look right now? As soon as we have the forces and we are no longer in a truce, we are going to take all of this land. There are plenty of worlds here and plenty of systems, and we want every last one of them. Now, if we go over here, we do have worlds which are currently suffering from a little bit of unrest, but that's not too bad, and soon enough, that shouldn't be so much of an issue, but I really do want to give them a governor, especially since they are going to be our very first sector. So, first things first. Can we give you a governor? Do we have one spare? Yes, we do, because we just got a bonus leader. So, uh, let's go with you, yeah. Now, I believe that does cause less unrest. Am I right or am I wrong? I might be wrong here about that. But either way, we still definitely want the governor. Pop resource production plus 2%, for instance. That's pretty nice. And then building speed is increased. Building cost is reduced. Since all they have are these worlds, let's try and make them as cheap as possible. So in the meantime, whilst we're waiting for the next war, we may as well focus all of our energy and all of our minerals on upgrading our planets and continuing to expand over here. Now, I really want this world. The problem is, once the truce ends so we can no longer go through their borders... I literally can't get a colony ship over here, but I really want this world. It's a 21 ocean world, meaning we have 90% habitability. I really want that. So, going to save up 300 resources, or 225 I should say, and then make a colony ship before we even have the system. Also, these two are at war again. The geckos versus the slavers. During the last video, I asked the question, should we be able to really do any research on our worlds, and especially, should we have worlds dedicated to science? And the overwhelming majority is yes. Almost everyone said that yes, it's a good idea, with one notable rule. Only society research. We are quite a feral swarm. We are quite a young species because I'm playing this as if the poor mammal underneath hasn't really been assimilated, but is more just a flesh puppet. The fungus has taken over the brain simply to control the body, and that's pretty much it. I'm sure it has access to memories in some way, but it's not intelligent. I don't want the infestation to be an intelligent swarm. I want it to be more feral, more reactive, and more adaptive, but not particularly smart. It's not something which can really converse or reason. It just has, it has a feral cunning, and that's it. Nothing more. So, to adapt makes sense, though. So, so the biology labs make complete sense. It's evolving constantly. And it's not so dumb that it can't do science, because otherwise it would make no sense to have ships and everything else. Hmm. Actually, maybe it does make sense. Maybe it has access to the memories of these poor creatures, but doesn't really understand them very well. It doesn't really get it. It's essentially, it's got... Culture shock. It's got stellar culture shock, similar to if you invaded a primitive world. It's a primitive species that just so happens to be clinging on to this poor, poor thing that created it. And then I've got a really weird question for you all. Could you consider this a symbiotic relationship? Now hear me out, because I know it sounds weird. This species underneath has lost free will. It's lost its ability to even think, I'm fairly certain. It's, it's became little more than a puppet for the fungus. But in return for this, it's now incredibly hardy. It can't die. It's very difficult to kill these things. And they've gone from a small population to a galactic contender. Is that symbiotic? I don't know if I'd class it as symbiotic, purely because they were sapient before. Just a random food for thought. Our construction is complete. Also, I've decided, I now understand, why we eat our prey. First of all, of course, we want as much biomass as possible. That's kind of our main goal. We want to extend everywhere and gather every resource possible. 
But the reason that these poor things are dying so slowly, it's going to take seven years for this populace to be devoured, is because the fungus simply can't infect other hosts correctly. It will infest them, it will slowly invade their cells, take over their nervous system, probably cause a great deal of pain. They will probably want to scream, but will have no mouth to do so anymore. It's probably the most horrific death you can possibly imagine, as this fungus keeps the prey alive for as long as possible, as it tries to assimilate, tries to become one with it. But the metabolism simply can't hold. The animal dies, ultimately. It gets burnt out too quickly. It's already burning out these hosts, so these hosts burn out even faster, and they die faster than they can reproduce, even though the fungus is trying to keep it alive. And because of that, there are a lot of corpses. The corpses simply become mulch. They become food and nothing more. That's why we don't get minerals or anything else. My god, that's horrible. I love that. <laughs> Oh, I do love Stellaris. I think Stellaris, the biggest pull for me is just the role-playing element. The fact you can have so many different empires. Oh, for Pete's sake. Already? Is that the old um, governor or the new governor? Oh. We don't even have a governor on the main world. Um, good to know we just found that out. So, main world. Bonus food. Uh, that's quite nice, I guess, but... Buildings being cheaper, uh, blocker being cheaper, yeah, let's do that. That was a huge error on my part. That's a lot of resource wasted. Okay, now the sector, I'll also give the buildings cheaper. So the governor is now giving us plus 2% pop. Oh god, that was such, such a big mistake. Is the colony ship ready yet? Soon. Okay, good. It looks like we are going to be able to grab this world after all, which is exactly what I want. Oh yeah, all of you need to convene over here so I can sort you all out. I need to start finally using the fleet designer. And I believe, yeah, we, we now have the, the disruptor being researched and soon we'll have point defense. So I will also need to make sure our ships are a bit more designed. We've got to that point finally. Can't just leave them as they are. Okay, then move over here. So this will be our first science world. I still haven't decided on the name for the science worlds. That's the thing. Evolution. Okay, for now. It's the evolution chamber. Oh, one. Wow, it's far too big. No, that just looks silly on the um, outliner. Hmm. Mutation pit? Mutation space. Mutation... Shiny. Mutation Den. Okay, I'm going to replace that soon, don't worry. But for now, it's a it's a working title, you know? It's a working title. Also, this world has such low habitability. Yeah, we really need to learn terraforming as well, like, as soon as we can. Ugh, oh, these worlds are in such a bad place. So here's my rule for other worlds. I am not allowed to put down a science lab unless it already has science research there. So I'm not going to focus on it. Basically, it forces me to focus on everything else because this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile, and this tile simply are not eligible. Oh, and this one as well. The vast majority simply isn't allowed. But then when it comes to worlds like this... Actually, yeah, I don't know then. How about worlds like this? Can I still have science here then on these tiles? Maybe only if, if it's a mutation den. I have to keep them to a minimum. I don't know. I'm trying to impose my own rules here. I don't need exact rules as long as the theme is upheld. My god, this whole episode is about me talking about lore. It's a fungus and it eats things, innit? Okay, you can actually downgrade or just become a bastion. Yeah, there's no... Sorry, no, you are a bastion. Just become a anchorage. So remove all the defense platforms... And just swap over to Anchorages. Do I want to keep you as a shipyard? We have you. Yeah, we already have three shipyards. I kind of need one over here. Once we go to war with these guys, this is going to be a nightmare. There's just no place we can place a good bastion except for here to keep them out of this section at least. So they'll take all of this, but they won't be able to get past and completely overrun us. And then if we have a couple of fortresses on this planet, and this planet, they could at least 
You don't not take us? Hmm. Don't know. For once, I'm actually going to make sure to upgrade our sensors. Bonus tracking is very good, especially against the smaller enemies we're currently facing. I also sort of wish that Corvettes weren't as good as they are, considering a lot of people see them as a bit cheesy to spam them, because I love the idea of just having this swarm of loads and loads of tiny ships. It's all nice and basic, it just works well, and I really like the concept, but it's a bit... off. Okay, you just get assimilated by that, there we are. And there we have it, we have our three major swarms. Our swarm is strengthened. Okay, the purifiers and these guys, the cats, they're... Ooh, the cats are a bit close to us. Fanatic, xenophobe, and egalitarian. Not friendly of anyone. You're not inward perfection, are you? No, you can't be. Because you need to be pacifist for that. That's a shame, because it means you can declare war. Actually, they could have declared war anyway, I just thought, because we are the swarm. They're allowed to try and contain us. Finally, the hive synapse. So, exactly what does this do? I know it gives bonus resources, but what else? So, two energy, two unity, and it gives 5% resource bonus to the planet it's on. So essentially, right now, we want to add that to every single planet, because a 5% bonus on every single planet would be insane. It's 250 minerals, though! The extra unity is pretty nice as well, though, to be fair. It's like an extra stronghold. In fact, it's better than a stronghold on every planet, which is Technology very nice. Conceived. It's like a stronghold which gives you energy. Ooh, cruisers. Lovely. And let's go for the ion thrusters. See, sorry, the ion thrusters, not iron. I'll rename you in a little while. So I guess to save up until we can place one of those on every planet. That's our next major goal. Man, we need more minerals. We're making loads of money, but we just have so much to upgrade. We're so far behind. We have cleared a blocker. We've almost got all of the planets not complaining. Come on, just give me this. Please. Yes, no more warning signs, finally! Wow, that took a while. Corvettes, please. Corvettes everywhere. Our construction is complete. So a quick look-see at the ship design, and what options do we have, and what are our things currently looking like? Oh, they have the small disruptor. I would rather you just have another railgun, or perhaps the autocannons. When it comes to the small variant, is there ever any reason to use this over this? This does more damage. Shield and hull damage, just shield damage. Tracking 75, tracking 50. Accuracy 85, accuracy 75. Yeah, I can't see a reason why you'd use the railgun over the autocannon on such a small craft. Oh, these are much worse for... Oh, yeah, minus 75%, only minus 50. So these are great at knocking out the shields, but then they're a bit weak. Still not a fan of using the disruptor with these, though. I feel like disruptors are best used as the main bulk of the weapons. Otherwise, it's just such a, such a low DPS. Why not focus on destroying the rest, then hitting the hull with these? Okay, yep, there we go. It's finally time to say goodbye to the auto. For now, I'm just going to go with that. Still fa fairly balanced. Um, everything else as I want it? Yep, pretty much. So what should I call you? The main bulk of the fleet. Hmm. I'll call you Spore. Like, you know, fungal spores. Sure. The basic one is Spore. That's the one there's going to be millions of. Okay, uh, let's just stop building you for a second. Thank you. 
I really should just use the hotkeys on a side note. You can be deleted. Yes. Will that change them all into the spore variant or not? That's the question. Or will I have to manually change them? Probably have to manually change them, won't I? Yeah. There we are. So now they're all that from now on. Do I have torpedoes yet? I think I do. I do, excellent. Um, torpedoes or missiles? I just prefer the torpedoes. I think they'll look better and just are more fun to use. Sure. Now these guys are a bit longer range. I'm tempted to put them as picket just to make them a bit more interesting to watch. Bonus tracking, bless evasion. Yeah, okay. Railgun again, so that's anti-shield. This basically uh, ignores shield. So, again, fairly balanced. You are the Devourer class. Destroyers for now, I'm not going to use you until I have pickets. Um, I guess we could use you as artillery, but yeah, it would be nice to have a bit of artillery. Once again, could focus on railguns. It's a bit too... I mean, it makes sense. So focus on the shields, and as we get closer, the shorter range laser comes into play. Okay. Okay, sure. What should I call you, then? Observer class, maybe? Since you're a bit further back. Okay, we're just going to go with Hunter. I think it makes sense. The patient Hunter stays at the back and everything. Then we have the Cruisers. Once again, we're going to go with Artillery. And these will be the Swarm hosts. No, just Swarm. I just like to Swarm, sure. Swarmer. Swarm. For now, I'll go with Swarm. Tell me what you think about that, but Swarm for now with this one. Definitely going with the basic Strike Craft. Uh, once again, yeah, the large can be Railgun. Small can be UV Laser. Everything else is pretty much as I want it to be. Tempted to go with the reactor booster, though. For extra shields and such. I mean, it's not much, but... Oh, it's more for evasion, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's just stick with what it was. So there we go. For now, though, I will be sticking with just the Corvettes, but very soon I will be mixing them. As soon as I start mixing them, that's when I'll start doing the proper um, fleet designer. Okay. Our construction vessels are doing absolutely nothing, which isn't particularly useful. Neither are our, are our scientists, so let's get everything back sorted. Okay, you're going to be a bastion so that the enemy can't come around and take everything. They will take all of this, but we can take that back. I just don't want them spilling into our main area, otherwise that's going to be really, really irritating. Same over here, I will be adding a bastion here. So we've essentially forced them to be contained in one area. Then we go through here and just we destroy everything. Hopefully by the time this is finished, we'll have enough for one more starbase. Our population is still increasing very quickly. Technology conceived. Ooh, yes please. Oh, on that as well. But yeah, we obviously need this. Genetic modification. Our construction is complete. Let's make our fungus a lot more deadly. Kind of feels like I'm playing Plague Inc. right now. Still need to make sure all the worlds have a um, hive synapse still. Still. Okay, this brood pit's going to be a special brood pit because it's going to be essentially a fortress world. We're going to want as much stuff here as possible. Uh, still want these though. So we still want the basics. Still want that, that, and the hive synapse. After that, everything's going complete. to be strongholds. It's not actually a terrible idea anyway, all that bonus unity. I'm tempted just to leave it like that after the fight as well. I'm just curious how much unity we can get from a world. I can't wait until our leaders die less often. Fleeting is a really horrible trait and I can't wait to get rid of it. Cloned organs. 
The cloning of rats mass produced the more frequently consumed organs like hearts and lungs, increasing the usable lifespan of high priority drones. That's pretty nice. After we've finished, we'll get more influence, which is actually really, really fantastic, because right now, we are using up influence constantly. To begin with, we had excess, but now we're just constantly using it on those edicts. And let's go energy, minerals, energy. We now have gene modification, so let's get to work then. Don't care about you, do care about you. The infested. So, you are no longer fleeting. Well done. You have learned to live a little bit more in harmony with the host, not burn them out quite so quickly. After all, after thousands upon thousands of hosts have died, I'm sure one or two of them lasted a little bit longer, and those would have been inspected. And now, you are traditional. You are better with unity. Because they live longer, each of the drones can live a longer life and, and gather more information for the swarm, which means everything is a little bit more cohesive. So, great template. And apply to all, which is going to take forever, but will be totally worth it. Plus 10% unity and the longer living lifespan? Yes. Yes, please. We are completely maxed out right now in terms of our naval capacity and starbase capacity. We need to go to war soon. Our numbers are too high. We must thin our herd. Ooh, and the enemy are weaker than us. The swarm hungers for your flesh, Hydra. We must have a really good economy then, because I didn't even notice we were so far ahead with that. Oh well. Our construction is complete. Continue upgrading everything. Now, how is this looking? Our fortress. Our construction is complete. Slowly getting there with the actual fortresses. I would like more though before the fighting starts. We need this to be a distraction for a long, long time. So I've placed some assault armies in order to defend this area. The thing is, we still want the fortresses though. The fortresses, the strongholds, also defend the armies. So not only is it giving us the defense forces, it's also making it a little bit easier to protect. That's an annoying timing. We have a raid incoming once again. Now, if they're the same guys as before, which I think they are, all it means is they're going to raid from down here. So it won't really interfere with our battles, so I don't really care? I've just sort of got used to the fact we're always being raided because everyone hates us. War has begun, and already we are taking land. So, take that, you horrible, horrible hydras. With your weird faces and even weirder hands. Seriously, the hands on these things are actually creepier than the heads. And the tail as well. The heads distract you, but the rest is creepier. So saith the teddy bears infected with fungus. Yeah, I don't think we have much room to talk, do we? Their fleet is here. Now, are they going to be dumb and move into us? Or are they going to white it out? Also, we like close range, so just sit right there. And as soon as the battle starts, we'll be, be there ready to eat them. Come on, be dumb. Our be dumb. We're dumb. Yes, they are doing exactly what I want them to do. That's right, just Zerg right ahead, into the Zerg. I'm sure this will end perfectly for you. You're very slow in comparison to us. Our this is annoying. Is annoying, but this good for later. And they separate as well. I love these enemies. Whoa, lasers. Oh, point defense. Oh, they have a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's why they're so weak. They were spamming point defense, weren't they? Hmm. Suddenly a little bit annoyed that I brought so many missiles. They're going to be just countered. 
I'll be amazed if any of the torpedoes are actually hitting their target. Our construction is complete. Note to self, more devourers, less... Sorry, more spores, less, less um, devourers. Just wait again, I'm sure they're about to do the exact same thing. Yes, they are. But this time, with transport. But let's make sure our worlds are nice and happy. Ooh, that looked painful. Even though I think it was point defense. Our construction is complete. Now we take the planet. Our construction is complete. Not the strongest planet, but also not the Our weakest. Is we'll definitely take some bombardments. Oh, another transport. Goodbye. And we can already settle status quo. That's good to know. Technology conceived. Ooh, better reactors. Lovely. Ooh, energy nexus. Ooh, better lasers. I want everything there. Give me all the things. Our construction is complete. Well, the torpedoes are very good versus the stations, at least, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, begin bombardment. Take as we go, it's the easiest way, plus it cripples their economy so they can't repair as fast. Do they have a stronghold? I can't see one, but maybe I'm blind. Can't see one. Our construction is complete. Shouldn't take too long either way. Bulwark of Harmony is Our next. Is <laughs> yeah, we're not the most harmonious creatures, but after that we do get this. Engineered Evolution. Three more modification points. Our construction is complete. We will be perfection. Don't want to lose our ground forces, so I'll wait until this last guard gets destroyed. Okay, I'm bored. Just go now. <laughs> Just go now. You three, move on. They never land when I order them to. I think it's when the other ships move, so they move their position, which then cancels the order. Our drones are nasty things. And we do have war drone as well, so plus 15% damage. That's kind of why we're killing them so fast. So I guess we're going to turn this into one huge sector. Yeah, probably all of this into one sector. Let's replace this. No, not replace the person. Replace... No, yeah, replace the person, not the building. That's what I was meant to say there. Oh yeah, we have you now as well, don't we? Do you really want the Starhold? I mean... Yeah, it's a resource replicator for now. And for now, we'll just leave it in the core sector. We'll change it soon enough. Oh, silly you guys. You can't defend against us. We're eating you. That's just what we kind of do. I'm sorry. And after that, I want some dessert. Oh, look at them with their little defensive platforms. I really do dislike these guys on a side note. I'm fairly certain you sent that raid against us as well. And you do have a stronghold, so this will take much longer. Still, should be okay. Plus, we do have a swarm just ready as well in the background, just waiting to help out. Don't want to move them, though. It'll, it'll just cost too much energy to, to move them around. Uh, but we do have the energy to spare. Maybe I will, then. Maybe I will. Our armor improves. Um, 
Improve strike craft, please. A swarm's going this. Yep, I knew it was going to go this way. Just knew it. So they're going to try and take all this. But if they're trying to race us in terms of taking systems, they're slower than us, they're not as strong as us, and we've already reached their core sectors. And well, this is their planet. You may notice the fire. The cats are fighting the people we're fighting. I feel like the cats are going to be a major problem soon. They are the strongest in the galaxy. Darn it, I was just upgrading this to try and hold them back a little bit longer. There's no chance they're taking this brood pit though for a while. 611 strength at the moment, which is stronger than their worlds. And once again, we are attacking their worlds. Is that high of here yet? Okay, the next swarm is also getting here and that will help out just speeding this along. It's taking way too long, this is. We could win this fight, but I would much rather lose less. Oh. Fine. Go and attack. Now I probably can't make armies. Oh, we can. Good. Make some armies behind it then while I attack. This will be a victory, but a costly victory. So, forces move out here. Just keep on going for all of their planets. They can't ignore that forever. Sure, you can take this area, but you're losing your planets. And we're devouring them. It's not like you can get them back. The people are dying. Our construction is complete. Yeah, that was costly. Our construction is complete. Still, a victory is a victory nonetheless. And I'll turn you into another one of these, and very soon this will become a sector, like I said. Uh, da, 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 resettle, this one of you again. And send in the drones. You damage our planet so slowly. We, on the other hand, have no such problem. Oh look, your other fleet was here. That's a shame. And that looks like a good planet as well. Ooh, a 24. That's going to take forever. Gosh darn it. The raid is here, sadly from above this time. I'm hoping they attack this planet, not this one, because if they attack this one, they're going to destroy all of our defense platforms, which will be really annoying since that's holding things back if they burst through here. Now, as for this, this is taking a while, so I was wrong. Still about the same speed they're dealing damage, but yeah, huge amounts of um, defense here, in comparison to the rest at least. Oh, and our species have now been upgraded, which means now we have bonus unity and live slightly longer lives. Okay, who did the raiders attack? Good, good. Okay, that's almost no problem at all. Uh, you guys can't get back, can you, right now? So you have to stay there, then that's fine. No major issue for a while. Actually, uh, upgrade first. Then move. Oh, incoming defenders. Move back, use their station against them. No point in unnecessary losses to the swarm. Uh, here's some energy. There you go. Our swarms strengthen. I'll have to make them more specifically inclined to make energy and minerals soon, rather than science when it comes to our sectors. Excellent, one of you gained a trait. Which one of you was it? Lovely, so now two of you are incredibly quick. Are they still bombing our planet over here? No, they gave up. Oh, no. 
Yep, they gave up. The planet's just chilling now. They took the station, but that's it. I knew they would give up before we did. They'd have to come back because we're doing more damage than they are, so they can't just race us like that. It's a silly. Also, the cats are invading from the west and doing a great job since we are basically taking out their armies for them. The cats are next. Oh, I want all these systems, though. If I take this... Yeah, the cats need to be destroyed as soon as this war's over. Even more marauders. And now we have Biolab 2, and we're about to have more star bases. Oh dear. All of our bio labs now need to be upgraded. Not the time for that. We don't have the money for it because we're currently making more and more swarms. Yet another swarm is joining the fight. I also have some more armies coming in so very soon we can actually attack this starting planet. Attacking the planet now going for their capital. Oh, excellent. You done. You engineered evolution. Which means we can do a lot of stuff with you right now. So modify. Don't really care about either of those, but that one's less, well, more of a problem than the other. Bonus minerals? Yeah. Good. Create template, apply to all. And I'll take 70 months, but then we'll have a nice bonus to all minerals collected. Lovely. We'll add that to the sector straight away as soon as I've placed one new person there. Good! You two can finally merge. The two armies finally met. As usual, resettle one of you just to make sure that the planet doesn't get destroyed afterwards. That'll be fixed as soon as it's in a sector. And it's this one, right? Yes. Our construction is complete. Our construction is complete. The new fleet just got there at the end, like, yeah, I'm helping. No, you're not, but you can help bombardment at least. They're still trying to colonize planets? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, maybe that. Hmm, maybe they were. That was a lot of civilians um, removed from the equation, Our let's say. Need more leaders. That shouldn't take too long with all that force. Yeah, look at that, just rushing ahead. You can join in too. You and you merge. Let's move out. Technically, we can actually invade right now, but I'm going to wait a while. Just a while. Our construction is complete. Oh. Our construction Has is peace complete. been made? I didn't notice it happen, yeah, but it looks like peace has been brokered between them. That's good, though, because it means all of this will be mine. And all this over here. Just need to make sure they have one world left before we finish the war, so that way we can go to all the systems and claim them. I think I've gone a little bit too much into science. From now on, I'm going to stick back to minerals and um, unity. Minerals, unity, and energy. They're the things we're meant to focus on. We are the feral swarm. Evolution's good, but more money, please. Say goodbye to your capital. And down it goes. Repair the fortress. And let's move over one of you. Any other fortresses we can just repair? Make it easier for myself? 
No. Okay, mining network demolish. You are going to be a fortress. Stronghold. That way, a little bit less unrest, which would be nice. More food, faster we all grow. I found your remaining fleet. I thought there was a planet here. I was clearly mistaken. Look over to here next, then. That's not your species. Well, we'll eat it all the same, don't worry. Okay, that's just rude, trying to take back what we've already grabbed. You know, all of you at once. Thank you, Station. That was very rude. Let's take out this station so they can't reinforce anymore, then get back to what we were doing. I'm sorry, I know this is an inconvenience, but can you just kind of sit there for a while? I mean, you could kill them already, but I would rather not lose almost all my army. Did they really run? We are faster than you, you know, but you do have stations in the way. Chase them down. We need to take over this land anyway. Instantly caught up with them. Wow, they have so much point defense. Um, go back to bombarding this. But, which is the weakest one of you? You... Uh, maybe we should send one of the stronger ones. No, just you on your own. You can learn by doing. Go over and start taking all of this. There is a station here, but I don't really want you to take that on your own since you're too weak. Oh, yeah, we really should send the stronger one, shouldn't I? Okay, strongest one on your own. Go and take everything they have. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Also, sending the next swarm over here to take over the land they took last time. Oh, to strength 200. Oh dear. Our construction is complete. Making a bastion here, this way. These guys can't get through here or here, and we are still fairly protected against them. I have no idea what we're going to do about the cats. There's two ways in they can get, which is really irritating. Thankfully, this is a stronghold world. And because they need to destroy all of the strongholds to be able to get through, that is acting like an FTL inhibitor, so that's fine. So I think I may put a bastion there as well. So bastion there, bastion there, bastion there. We are maxing out on star bases, though, so I need to decide which star bases to keep and which to throw away. Well, I almost lost a fleet there because this one was going to go right through these guys. Eventually, I do want to kill these because I really want that Gaia world. But for now, leave them alone. As soon as we can beat the 10k fleet, we will. But for now, leave them alone. Seriously. And one more world. Lovely. Welcome to the sector.
I want all of that food, please. Wow, almost plus 300 food. So despite the fact we have 12 planets currently growing populations, we have an almost 50% bonus growth rate. This species is doing very well for itself. A lovely fungus. Okay, there's definitely a planet left there. That's all I need to know. Our construction is complete. Finally, we're making a fleet. Three of the swarms, two of the hunters, and then spam spore and spam devourer. Go. That will all rendezvous over at Infection Point, because the next time we go to war, we're probably going to go from here downwards. Because it's either going to be these guys or the cats. One of the two are next. Oh, I saw you. Wait, it's a little bit too long there. We could have easily sent a force a lot earlier than that, but I kind of wasn't paying attention. Okay, grab that. Um, not much else really to grab. There's a world there. Okay, yeah, just do the... Okay, so... Landing forces, get there. Fleets. Grab all of the space, then help out on the planet. Any science vessels nearby that's crude? Well, I would love you to take a look at these corpses for us. What can you learn? Purity, prosperity, supremacy, or discovery. Supremacy will just make us really powerful. Simple as that. Nice. Good. Purity will give us plus 10% unity when it's done. We'll make our governors more effective, and we get unity by eating the enemy. And more food. Prosperity, well, it's all about things being cheaper and also hoarding. So I think, really, it's one of these two for the law, but I wish I would go down supremacy. I think I'll do purity. It just, it fits too well. And before I forget... Tell you what, you can even have this, because I'm so kind. Gonna have to give you this one as well, because otherwise I won't be able to grab that. Okay. I'm also thinking, why do you have a governor when you are clearly the larger of the two? Why are you so bad at making energy? You're making, z you're making zero energy. What are you doing? You're lacking energy, but you're not putting anyone on your reactors. Once again, Sector AI, not the best. There really is no need to wait over here. Just go and attack by yourself. Oh, finally point defense. Yes, please. And more star bases, which is good since right now we're already over the limit. I think I need this. Um, am I correct in thinking for the next one of these, I need, no, glandular assimilation. I don't know where that comes from. Do I need this to get that? Oh, I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, I can't remember. So for now, more um, tile blockers, please. Planetary infestations begun. Goodbye. Now, if I land this force, does it change unrest? 92? Landing? No, it doesn't. It used to, but not anymore, sadly. Click. 
need to wait for reinforcements. They have a ridiculous station over here. That's not the last thing they have. So do I really need to destroy this? Um, I mean, we could always just conquer it normally later. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way. Everyone else can go home, weirdly. There is just nothing more for you guys to do. Um, no. This does not need any force here. Both planets are really weak and can be conquered by the ground forces themselves. So just get back to infection point and get yourselves upgraded at long last. No. Yes. I can't make you evasive, can I? Passive or aggressive, yeah. Because on the way there, there's two very nasty things I don't want you to fight. Then go back to infection point. We have assimilated knowledge. We have assimilated knowledge. Believe it or not, but we have actually assimilated knowledge. We are learning terraforming. As we do a little bit of murder over here. You're our science world, so I'll do that. I want your food, thank you very much. Enemy taken. Lovely. And then take you as well. We'll need to put down another thing over here, though, another sector, which is a real shame. Since it's just going to be for this one world, I don't want to connect all of this, because I want all of this for myself. Of course, I could take up to up to 75%, right? Yeah, you could take up to 75% of what they make, but right now I just want them to develop themselves. Later I'll take the money. Would much rather have these going straight into my pocket and just have these... Here, I guess. This should be their last world. I don't care what you think, birdie boys. Planetary infestation begun. Enemy nest taken. And the war is over. Well done, lads. You all win. One for you. One for you. And then a brand new sector for you. Um, you know what? Take that. There you go. Should give you enough money for a while anyway. And you two can go back to infection point. Well, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. The infestation is looking in a very good place right now. We have a very good set of fleets. We are increasing that still, even now. And we have a lot of space to our name. Now, sadly, there are several groups which are far, far ahead of us, at least in terms of their science, because we're just not very scientific. Yeah, we're really low down. Even though there are pathetic fleet powers out there, we're just not caught up with any tech. So who's next, then? For a challenge, the cats. So actually, the cats are currently at war. That would make them quite a good target right now. We are building up this bastion. But if we go in through... Oh, yeah, if we go in through there, they have no other connection points. They can't get to us. It's almost risk-free. Yeah, the cats are definitely next then. Just make sure these bastions can hold. Um, I'll build a bastion over here as well. So that will hopefully keep these from attacking us. Uh, how strong are these guys? You. Oh, yeah, fanatical purifiers. Definitely building up a bastion here. We're their next target. Now we've taken over this, so make sure that's very well defended. The strongest bastion we can create. Same here and here. Just try to keep these away from us while we take over this. And that's the goal for next time. But for now, I really am all out of time for today's video. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stellaris is a series you wish to see continued in the future. There's a lot of maintenance that I need to do now, sorting out our fleets and sorting out our planets. But next time, I'll make sure to have already done that, so we can go right back to war. Thank you for watching.
and goodbye.